Sumba is one of the poorest areas of Indonesia. Currently, 70% of the people live without access to energy sources. The development organization HIVOS wants to change this in cooperation with the Indonesian government, companies and social organizations. By 2023, all the inhabitants of Sumba will have access to sustainable energy to promote their development. But what do the people use their sustainably generated energy for? In the mountain village of Kamangi, a hydropower plant has recently ensured that the inhabitants have green energy, so the light won't go out after sunset, which is good for the productivity of weavers like Mrs. Juliana. Carpenter Darius already had a diesel generator, but he also benefits from the green energy. But power is not the only thing that Sumba needs. A gas network is also missing inland. So small home biogas plants that work on animal manure turned out to be a very useful solution for the farmers. Mr. Mada and Mrs. Sophia also benefited from this. Saya menggunakan biogas dari sejak tahun 2012. Ternyata sangat luar biasa. Yang pertama, kotoran ternak kami tidak berceceran lagi, tidak membuat uh, kurang higienis ya. Sudah itu yang kedua, uh, mendapat api yang luar biasa, bagus. Kami bisa menghemat uh, minyak tanah. Ya, pakai komfor itu sekarang kan bau bau minyak tanahnya menyengat kadang kalau sumbunya kurang bagus itu sampai batuk-batuk kalau ini sama sekali tidak tapi kalau sekarang ini periuk jadi bersih ini tidak ada asap begitu more than a hundred plants have been built on the island already not least because of the organic fertilizer that remains after fermentation of the manure yang ketiga terakhir sesudah saya belajar dari teman lain ternyata limbah dari biogas itu yang disebut bioslori bioslorinya baik yang padat maupun yang cair ternyata jauh lebih lebih bagus daripada kami menggunakan kotoran ternak yang biasa because Sumba has a long dry period an irrigation system powered by solar energy was built at a farming cooperative in Liwa this ensures that the groundwater can also be pumped up during dry periods Mrs Lydia and Mr Johannes talk about the effect this has had Perubahannya kalau dulunya kita masih tanam bedengan sayur di samping rumah hanya dua beden yang sedikit-sedikit untuk hanya cukup makan. Tetapi yang perubahannya sekarang ketika adanya ini kita bikin bedengan sayur yang begitu luas terus itu sudah bisa pakai beli pakaian anak sekolah dengan keperluan hari-hari begitu. Malah kita mengharapkan supaya penghasilannya itu lebih meningkat lagi. Much remains to be done before there's a hundred percent access to sustainable energy on Sumba. It's a positive change for these people that's beyond dispute.